Welcome, Commander, to the International Space Tech Science and Technology Conference. It is a great place to find yourself something special and modern, like a themed Skiros or a Capri and explosive shotguns in a new color scheme. There are also weapons which have to be kept in cases with radiation shielding for now. And of course, there is the star of the show. Our new Seraph robot is about to appear from behind the clouds. Make yourselves comfortable. We are about to begin. Keep calm. This is a false alarm. It is not a real emergency. Please remain in your places. Uh, let's get back to the new tech, shall we? Let me introduce your conference guide. Trixie Hope is the youngest staff member of the Technical Engineering Lab at the Space Tech Innovative Development Institute. She is always accompanied by Professor, her personal assistant John. Professor has a special program which will speed up the recharge rate of your active repair modules. Here is one of the questions Trixie gets asked most frequently. What do we actually keep in these radiation-shielded cases? A new radioactive trio. These weapons are for shooting short bursts where each subsequent shot causes more damage. Their medium range will allow you to keep at a safe distance for most of your opponent's weapons and preserve the durability of your robot. Here are the freedom versions of the Kajal, Mace and Hammer explosive shotguns. Don't get distracted by their bright color schemes. They are just as dangerous as they are beautiful. The Freedom Skiers Armored Ball now has lots of edges and angles, but that won't stop it from rolling all over the enemy beacons. The latest Space Tech development Seraph is a flying raider and titan killer, a robot that looks truly unique. Those wings aren't just there to make Seraph look beautiful. The Skyward ability allows the robot to fly into the sky and rain real lightning upon the enemy. 10 gigavolts can change any clear day into a thunderstorm. Seraph uses the force field defensive system when in the air. The system blocks part of the damage but gets depleted when damaged and starts to let more and more enemy projectiles through. If you prefer lightning rains, don't miss out on this. You can hear more about the Seraph in the review by Jill Summers if you follow the link in the description. And if you manage to hire Jill for your unit, she will be able to restore Seraph's durability after every landing. Leaderboards is a brand new way to get resources. Soon you will find yourself in one or even several groups of fellow commanders. You all will have similar sets of tasks to compete for. If you perform better than your competitors, you get a reward. There are numerous types of these tasks and being in several groups will help you achieve more. The oldest of our fellow commanders, or should I say pilots, may remember the pilot of the hour feature, which was present in the game years ago. Well, the new leaderboards has kind of the same vibe, but better. All of the details will be in the article on our official website. And now! The time has come! Warning! Unauthorized intrusion on the station detected. All guests, please group in the Grand Conference Hall and keep calm. Gotta go! Meet you later, Commanders! Uh... You can hear more about the Seraph in the review by Jill Summers if you follow the... There are also weapons which have to be... The Freedom Skiers Armored Bowl... 